Hi, it's me, Melanie Grace. We are starting on a journey for Mother's Day. So Mother's Day is coming up in just a couple weeks and we are gonna do a sew along. So I hope you're here to join me. We're gonna have so much fun. So I put together a downloadable PDF for you. Click the link below, sign up for the sew along and we're gonna sew the grandmother's flower usually the grandmother's flower gun. Basically, it's a hexagon flower through English paper piecing, and then we are going to make it into a outer, an outer pocket and make a tote bag. So to get started, what you're going to need is you're going to need seven hexagons. And so I actually ordered these from Paper Pieces, and I'm gonna put a link below. The ones that I've used before have a dot in the middle. I just ordered those from Amazon. Uh, but you buy them by like yeah, by the 50 or by the 100, but we just need seven for this project. But I guarantee you, after you make one, you're gonna wanna make a whole bunch more. You're going to need um, just like one three inch square or three and a half inch square of any fabric that's gonna be the middle of your flower. So I chose this very like creamy color. And then we're going to need six outer um, hexagons. So I'm going to choose two different colors. So there's three of each. And so I decided that out of my, and this is just a stash buster. I chose this pink color right here. It's kind of like this uh, salmon. And then I thought I would match it with this. Now this is a great fat quarter project. These are all fat quarters that I bought. So basically this will be my center. I'm just going to do one of those and I'm going to cut three of these and we're going to do some glue basting. Um, so week one, we are going to choose our fabric. Actually, no, it's not even week one. It's video one. Choose your fabric. Go through your stash. Choose three colors. All you need is basically nine inches of this, nine inches of that, and three inches of that, and then you're good to go. After you get your flower done, though, we are going to need some additional fabric. You're going to need about a half a yard of canvas or like some sort of outdoor outdoor, outdoor fabric. I'm going to just use plain like beige canvas um, because it's that's what I'm going to do. You could always go to like Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has some great outdoor fabric. And so you could always choose any one of those colors, any one of those styles for your mom. So um, if you want to make one for your mother-in-law also, you need 14 of these. If you're making one for your sister who's also a mom, you're going to need 21. So just keep in mind, you need seven of these per flower, per tote bag. So to go over it, you're also going to need about a half a yard or probably like three quarters of a yard of your lining. Um, we are going to be putting in a pocket. So probably three quarters of a yard for actually your outdoor fabric, also your canvas. Sometimes I trip over my words because I'm a little unscripted, but we're going to get better. So with that being said, um, now that you've chosen your fabric, we are going to cut these into hexagons. I'll meet you down here. All right. So step one, we are going to cut out some hexagons. So first we're going to cut strips. You might've remembered this from the last, uh, from the first EPP video that I did. Oh, I got two of those. We're first going to cut. Oops, there goes the glue. So, basically, I'm just going to cut this whole strip. About a half inch, okay. So I'm cutting this at three and a quarter inch. I really only need to do three inches, but I got a little wonky. So I'm gonna move this now. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use my add a quarter ruler and I'm going to put this right against my seam and I'm just going to start cutting. And let's get the most out of this fabric as possible. normally have a smaller thing with me, but I don't have it with me today. So let's get this back, back in place. There we go. Oh, and I jostled it. Okay, 
there we go. So we have our center. Do you guys mind this view? It's kind of backwards. Maybe I'll flip it around. Let's, what if I move you over here? Is that better? That seems better. Okay. So now, since I need three of these, I'm just going to keep this doubled up. Or I'm sorry, I say folded. This is so pretty. This is, um, I don't even know, conservatory. Whatever. I'm a little bit of a space cadet sometimes because I have a lot going on in my mind. This is bunched up. Turn that off. Okay, so first things first. Wow. Trim this, and from here, we're going to cut three inches. And plenty for later. So from here, we can I'm going to line these up here. They always say, iron your fabric before you cut. And to that I say, who's got time for that? Okay, and then moving on. I just want to get as, I want to get at least four I should have plenty. Should have plenty. Oof. There we go. All right, the next one. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. The scratch just wasn't big enough. some more. So here we have one, two. Oh wait, no. Ha! <laughs> uh, I have three guys, not three. All right, so just to give you kind of a shot of what this will look like. That will be what the flower looks like when it is done. The next step, we are going to glue base these and then sew these together two by two. <laughs> 